All right, guys, uh, if you didn't hear, Twitch apparently has a council on trying to make the community better. It's kind of funny because it seems like it's not doing it. It feels like it's doing the opposite. So I'm going to get into this. I'm a bit mad at this, honestly, so let's get right into it. Now, you're wondering, what is Pepe doing here? Okay, he's not a hate symbol. He's just my dude here chilling. No, but memes aside, uh, it's a whole stream layout. Just ignore it. But let's get into this. So apparently Twitch on their blog, they're saying how they're going to be forming a Twitch Safety Advisory Council. This, I, I think it's great in concept. I think it's a good idea. I think this was something that was needed, um, right? The whole point is you want to keep the community safe and healthy. It's a top priority, right? So they have, of course, a couple of stuff, right? Drafting new policies and policy updates. I will want to see that before you even say it, right? Actions speak louder. Developing products and features improve safety and moderation. Promoting healthy streaming and work-life balance habits. Uh, yeah, sure. Protecting the interest of marginalized groups. Okay, that's okay. That sounds good. Identifying emerging trends that could impact the Twitch experience. So uh, this is essentially like a new guideline, it seems, of how they're going to be trying to make it more tighter with the rules. They're going to be trying to make it more diverse. I understand that portion. That's fine. But here's where it gets a little weird. Okay, Alex Ohm, interesting. I don't know who that is. Uh, I know who this guy is. Cole Carnage is a great streamer. I've heard some great stuff about him, right? And then a cup of noodle. I don't know who this is, who this is, but let's take a look. You know what I mean? It gets really shady. This is why I say it. This person doesn't seem like a big streamer because normally when it comes to this sort of stuff, you want big streamers that can represent the community quite well. Now... Normally, I would say I don't really care about this stuff, but this is something that I think would affect me. You know what I mean? And it's really weird. Apparently, her average viewers, it's around 50. And it's like, are we really getting low streamers? You know what I mean? Because this could actually, this could affect quite much on the whole sort of uh, Twitch TV experience, you know what I mean? Um, right, because usually you want big streamers, people that have a big community, big following that can, you know, represent the brand quite well. Now, I don't know what this is. CDT, Center for Democracy and Technology. I have no idea who this is. These are people that I've never heard before that you would think there, there would be some kind of following. I know one of them, Cold Carnage. This guy I've heard is pretty good. He gets a good amount of views. But then it gets into the shady stuff. Center for Democracy and Technology? I thought this was a gaming site. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, if these guys did it on the side, that's fine. But, like, I thought the focus was you're trying to make it a great community. I feel like this is getting into some unwarranted, I don't know, territories. Free expression project? Okay. Law and policy? Internet users of free expression rights? Okay, that sounds great. European Union? Okay. Okay. Interesting, but... Uh, doesn't seem like there's a persona or well a person you know personality you know I find that very weird and here's where we get the interesting dank stuff so this streamer apparently has some controversial statements on the twitch.tv platform yes yeah, so this person was making some very hateful conduct conduct and this was why a lot of people were getting very well mad Right, this person was making statements that were pretty harass harassatory, I hope that's a word, but you know what I mean, they were harassing people, and she even had to make an apology, and it looks like the whole meeting was literally about her, <laughs> right, Reddit live stream fails, got pretty angry about this, she was making comments, and now there's even memes too, to kind of prove it, uh, yeah, uh, apparently most gamers are white supremacists, this was an actual statement from her, these aren't memes, these actually, this is a legit statement, by the way. Thank you, ResBTW. This person actually made some very uh, interesting quotes here of this individual. Most gamers are white supremacists. I have power. You should be afraid of me. Yeah, it, it's a big yikes. I would totally agree by that. It's really weird. These are statements that you normally wouldn't say if you're a representative of a brand. This is not good. This is a dumpster fire. That's what it is, right? And the statement about voice chat does really make me wonder if you're even qualified to be on this council, right? How is it that you can say the statement and you're somehow the face of a gaming platform, right? Saying that you don't need voice chat in video games? That's insane. Like, if I'm playing CSGO, I need to know where I'm going to plant the bomb for A or B. Like, this is something that's pretty important. I need to know where the enemies are, and I need to know what's going on. But apparently this individual doesn't even know the basics of gameplay now another thing that i found interesting was this individual was like eighth place in a tournament um 
so let me see if I can actually find this. I probably should have had this at the start, so my apologies. But this person was like 8th place at like a tournament. Yeah, so this person was actually lying quite a bit. And I think this is an actual uh, site that actually is talking about this. And they're lying about how they were kind of like in 2nd place for a tournament. Yeah, it's 8th place. 8th place. And I think this was Apex Legends or some game. And she was lying about it, right? I don't want this person representing a site, right? This doesn't seem like some good characteristics that we want reflecting back at us, the people. Right, this doesn't sound like something that's a good idea, right? Um, some really controversial opinion stuff that we're talked about. It doesn't reflect us, you know what I mean? We're not white supremacists. I don't think we're wearing those KKK suits, you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's just a bit weird, you know. Um, I understand if you want to make some political opinions, but when they're targeting us, when the whole point of the community was to make it stronger and better and and all around and a positive stuff, it makes me wonder what the whole idea was all along you know what i mean um and yeah like it's just really weird because usually when it comes to usually a council you want people who you're familiar with people you know you can feel safe and comfortable this is something i wouldn't feel comfortable about right and even this dude cole carnage he had he even had some stuff about this like he was talking about how like this doesn't feel right so he even was kind of feeling a little bit oofy on this um, yeah, it's interesting. It's really weird. There's some people that I feel they shouldn't have been involved in this and I feel bad for them. This individual though, uh, this person literally single-handedly destroyed Twitch. <laughs> That's quite something. So, um, again, I'm sorry for this video. Uh, it seems like I might have, <laughs> look, I, I didn't plan this, so I'm very sorry if I was talking a little bad on this, but anyways, I'm going to end it for the stream or, well, not stream video. Whew. That's how you know I've been a Twitch streamer. Um, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. If you want to check out some of my social media down below in the description, be sure to do that. Uh, yeah, sorry about this. This was a bit improvised. I want to sort of get my thoughts across and talk about it. I'm not happy. I'm, <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm very worried about this, <laughs> to be really honest. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. If you do enjoy the video, give it a like, maybe subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, uh, again, I'm sorry for this improvised video. Usually I do plan things out, but this one was something that I wanted to get from the heart. You know what I mean? Um, normally I don't make videos that much, but if you want to subscribe, really appreciate it. You'll get some videos probably in the month. Uh, but if you want more content, I usually, I usually stream on Twitch for like a pretty much every day. So if you want to do that, go for it.